there everyone, I'm Mr. Muckleupper, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Reich, in which we're playing as that there Italian Republic. Now, we could talk about the history of the Republic of Italy and defeat in Civil War, but if you'd like to do that, please go right ahead. I've, I'll be honest, I actually read this once, and the entire game crashed on me, so I don't really want to read it again, but we have all these events. If you'd like to read it for yourself, you can always pause the game, but fun Italian industry. The Institute for Economic Reconstruction was formed in 1924 to reconstruct a heavy industry after the Civil War. We should give it more funding so that it may continue to help our nation's industry, followed with military contracts to spur economic activity while simultaneously arming our military. We should issue additional small arms contracts to smaller armament facilities. Interesting. And we get 2,000 units of guns, Car Carcano M38s, which isn't too bad, but I do want to beeline and get that extra research slot as fast as possible, but happy... February, everyone. New month. Hopefully, 1936 won't be too bad of a year for us. And there goes Afghanistan and all them. Who cares about Afghanistan? We don't. Black Monday. Mein Gott. And we're going to get something out here soon. We're going to Black Monday. We have no fuel. We're building up some civvies, some milli, some civvies. And our military is looking okay. The Austrian withdrawal. <clears throat> Black Monday has hit the Austrian Empire hard. Their markets have plunged so low that many Austrian stockholders of Austro-Italian companies have panicked and sold countless bonds to native Italians, weakening the Austrian stranglehold over our economy. Not only have we rid ourselves of foreign economic influence, the austrian Gieren Reichskriegs ministers recalled the division stationed in our territory, unable to afford the financial burden of keeping us safe from what many in Vienna foolishly believe to be an empty social threat. For good or ill, the Italian Republic is now effectively independent of Austrian domination, at least until they regain their full strength. Many Italians are worried about whether or not this will leave us exposed to attack, but the social Republic of Italy. A war right now will be a terrible prospect. Is this a step towards a free Italy? Yes, but research institutes. Our research and development apparatus has fallen into disrepair. We must not allow our enemies to possess a technological advantage. Let us found a new research or new state research in institutes. The economic crisis started in Germany has hit uh, has spiraled out of control and has spread to Italy. The Republic of Italy's prosperity has been shattered by the Black Monday, and the confidence in the government has been shaken. May God protect us. Oh, that looks really bad. So let's go over here and put you over there. We're not going to ignore you for now. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, research institutes is good enough, but everything else, not so much. But yeah, oh, we also have planes, so we didn't need fuel, right? We don't need fuel. And storm walls are nice. And here's what we're building. We need a lot of guns. We need some support companies, or support equipment, I should say. Some artillery. Fighters, motorized tanks, have improved heavy hulls, all the good stuff. Actually, our navy's not looking too bad. We have 20 uh, normal ships, two battleships, two escort cruisers, 16 destroyers, which could be a lot worse. Hold an elected tuck. Democratic coalition established in Mexico. And then we have a lot of subs, which they're all right. Nope, oh, 11. Um, combine two of you guys back together. There you go. Interesting development. Cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Grab some research speed, too. Thank you very much. Yay! We have five whole army XP. And 2,000 more guns, but we'll see what happens. But after this one, defense contracts we're going to do immediately just because we need those military factories. The arms industry is an important economic sector by working closely with the contractors and offering new contracts. We can encourage the expansion of many armaments facilities. Stephen the 10th, huh? Okay, famine breaks out on stage one. Pretty normal. So, who is he? He's an authoritarian democrat, huh? The Holy See. The Puppet of the Two Sicilies. And I'll be honest, like, I've never played Italy on this channel in Kaiser Reich or I think of Kaiser Redux. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, but yeah. If you give me some, let me know in the comments below any tips for playing as Italy in this mod, I would greatly appreciate it. The famed Italian aviator Carina Massona Negrona has set a new record for aviation by flying up to 12,043 meters in a new biplane and breaking a new record. A personal friend of Italo Babbo himself, the man himself, the legend. Her new record has made her popular within the Republic, especially in national circles. A new record for Italy. Oh, we can go to early mobilization? Yes, please. That'll give us, hopefully, slightly more fuel, but our oh, daily gain's pretty darn bad, not gonna lie. If we could buy just a smidgen of fuel. We don't have much to spare, but helping us out a little bit more would be very good. Increase machine tools. Grab some dispersed industry, because we like that. And defense contracts. Uh, Venetian arsenal was not too bad either, so. Of course, we can go A and I. The public survives. Oh, the restoration of the Federation, so we'll see. We shall definitely see. UBD's gone. Goodbye. That's a batch of maps made obsolete. Defense contracts would be very nice. And for this campaign, because we're playing Italy, I want to go Grand Battle Plan. That seems kind of fitting. Going Mobile Warfare doesn't seem like make a lot of sense, especially with all these mountains and stuff up here and down here. So, Gabriella Angelini solo flight. Gabriella Gabby Angelini has just completed her solo trip from Delhi, already famous for visiting... A <clears throat> 
eight different countries. Uh, the young aviator has become one of the most popular figures within Italy. At 25 years old, she has captivated the public or the people within the Republic, and even from outside the Republic. The Corellia della Sera was quoted as writing, This young Italian girl showed how females can be daring and not lose any of their true exquisite femininity. Three cheers for Gabby Angelini. Yay, more pee pee. We love it when women give us more pee pee. Hmm. Or, hmm. Anyways. Uh, Legnano. Uh, Legnano. Today, the historic film, <clears throat> uh, historic epic film, Legnano, was released across the Republic to widespread acclaim. The film tells the story of the Holy Roman Emperor Barbarossa and his attempt to control Italy, leading to the creation of the Lombard League and the Battle of Legnano. Or, uh, I keep saying that word wrong. Uh, Lombard League and the Battle of Legnano. It was directed by Romolo Marcellini and stars Fosco Giacchetti, Luisa Ferda, and Losvaldo Valenti. And funded by the ANI, due to obvious parallels within the, with the Austrian Empire, is drawn criticism from the Austrians, despite that the Italian uh, public seems to enjoy the film. Today, we expel the Black League from Lombardy. Yay! Many yays. <clears throat> so after that one, uh, oh, the U.S. Uh, geez, the Italian majority, huh? Uh, I don't mind getting more of this. I do want to get this one, but this does also give us a bonus industry cell. So industrial improvement. Much of our nation's industry lies in disrepair, and those factories which still function have become increasingly archaic. To deal with this problem, we should initiate a state-sponsored program of factory modernization. Very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice just loves to crack a whole bunch now. Um, social liberalism, legislate freedoms. I thought we were supposed to have, like, elections here. Then again, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have elections or not. Because, I, like I said earlier, <coughs> I did this once, and the game completely crashed on me. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'd like to go here, but we need more war sport. We're going to have 21%, which is not bad. And we have uh, industrial concerns. That's not bad. This one's not bad. This one's pretty good, too. I like this one. But we're going to go with Astaldi, just because it. I prefer to get a bigger buff to civilian construction, just because it, it requires almost a third more to build compared to military factories. Military factories only require 2,700, while these cost almost 11,000, so... You get a bigger bonus if you do civilian bonuses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Also, here are the templates. Like, we have Fanteria, which is just normal, just plain old infantry. These guys have the same thing, but with artillery support. We have 12 combat width with artillery support uh, Mountaineers, which is okay. I'm not going to use those guys. Um, yeah. And we have some tanks, which I'm not even going to look at because they're probably really garbage. Modernized agriculture. The many small farms and states of the countryside not only still bear damage from the Civil War, but also been unable to adopt the new agricultural technologies and methods of cultivation, which is subsidized the import of modern agricultural equipment to jumpstart this process. Nice. And we're going to grab a Staldi. And more distance research speed is pretty good, too. Alright, so after that one, uh, that's not bad. Ooh, more cities, too. Electronics. I do want to get this one, though, just to start our land action a little bit faster. Maintaining operational integrity and ex executing well-developed plans is the key to victory in modern warfare. Italy's failure in the Valkyrie can be most easily attributed to incompetent planning and a disregard for overall strategy. This shall never happen again. Support the CIRFC? The province of Sejuan has long been subject to food insecurity, recently, however. This problem is greatly worsening, and the province has officially entered a famine. Philanthropists from around the world have begun to assemble conferences to help the province and, help, and have the organized internationally into the China. Yeah. International Famine Relief Commission. Many of these philanthropists, who have also have influence within our government, are petitioning we directly support famine relief efforts. This is a potential to greatly improve the international perception of our government, but it'll be costly. Yeah, give them a shipment of grain. Why not? We'll be nice. For now. And Asia is falling apart. But hey, we made two divisions, which is pretty nice. We actually have quite a few guns and artillery pieces. Look at that, huh? <clears throat> so because we already have support artillery here... Honestly, this template is not terrible. I think we'll probably just make these guys 20 combat width. We don't have enough... Ah, we do have enough guns. So that's not bad. Give them a little stronger. We'll make them, make them 40 combat width later on, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the Republicans win Serbian elections. All right. Good job, I guess. Uh, yeah, I got that one, too. Belgrade popped. Very cool. Um, electronics would be nice. Modernization. I would like to just get a lot of the land auction done as fast as possible. But the 1936 Consiglio earthquake. In the early hours before dawn, the regions of northeastern Italy on the Consiglio were shaken by a terrific earthquake. Tragically, 90 people were killed and the countless were injured. Many of the smaller towns in the region were destroyed or damaged. May God save them. He knows that we cannot. I'm sure it would not be bad. 
Um, hmm, 49 days. That's quite a few days. <sighs> Dockyard's not bad. We don't really need them. I'd rather get the Civi Zell. Let's do this one. Create the Autostrata. The Autostrata. Uh, was envisioned as a system of wide roadways linking major cities. While the Civil War halted plans for its construction, we now possess the ability to build at least part of the original system. Nice. So my goal, <coughs> which make him true or not, oh, Jack Reed is elected president, is for just, oh, we got two more divisions too, look at that, nice. It's for enemies to just, like, rail themselves into us during the war. Hopefully we can, like, just bait them into attacking us a whole bunch. Obviously there's no guarantee that'll happen, but... I'd love to see that happen. And actually, we're almost done building up, or trading the ships, which is good. And China's falling apart, but what else is new? Nice. Oh, cool. It supports the auto industry. It has been a hot bit of automotive innovation since the industry's birth. We should seize this advantage and implement substantial subsidies for those auto industries with the aim of increasing production. Because I really want those civvies. Three is not good, but whatever. Oh. Kamal sees his power, nice. Because we also have these planes here, we were training, which we've lost, like, six planes, which sucks, but whatever. Are you guys almost done? You guys should almost be done, right? Yeah, they're, all, they're literally almost done, which is awesome. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't care. Get more output. We definitely need more output, especially for this. Oh, my goodness. And we need some, we gotta get some engineers. Oh, boy. Not really. Uh, you know, repair that one first. That's fine. Get it done, so that way we can get it just... Just, just going, just, just trucking. Twenty-two percent. We get. I wish we had more world tension first. Why do any though? Left camp is gone. Ostrowski. Oh. Oh, you're a puppet of. Oh, you're already a puppet. Don Caban Union, huh? Someone wants me to play as them. I know that for sure. But Austro-Hungarian monarchy. Oh, I wish this. I wish these guys would get a rework someday. Maybe someday. Or at least the this path would actually work. Alright, so with that one done, we still have elections this year, so we better be ready within a few months. <clears throat> mm. Mm. I do want to do modernization, but... <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice. Oh my goodness. Holy crud. You know, I'm cool. But we begin modernization. With the new ar with the army now guided by such a doctrine, we can begin overall structure and composition. Great. Then we do 14 divisions, which is awesome. And we're slowly getting more fuel, which is nice as well. Not bad. Happy February, ever though, everyone. Hmm. Train until you're done. Could get some radar, let's get some more cap. That would be nice. Yeah, I definitely go begin modernization. We gotta get that done anyways. Um, yeah, when I played this earlier before crash, like we we were gonna have the elections at 36, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Auto industry in a few days. Very good, very good. Four days. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> then we get some more extraction, maybe. Rise of the Vaz. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Disturbing news. It's only disturbing if you don't like him. Nice. Stand off in America. Cool. The world's gonna explode, which is awesome to see. And begin modernization. I'm pretty sure he clicked on this, but whatever. Oh, this one's not done yet. Okay. Uh, Hui and Buddhist. Nice. Go storage. Why not? Oh, look at that. Six. Nice. Awesome. Yay. We'll get there eventually. We should have mo uh, elections in two months. Economic planning. Black Monday is over. How do we get rid of Black Monday? There's nothing we can do on the left side here yet. <clears throat> no, I would like... Doctors would not be bad. Naval XP is not bad. Electronics is pretty good too, but we have to wait until next year to really do stuff with that, so they can wait. High Command Reforms. The time military high command has left fracture with the division of the land itself. Yep. Yeah. In the time since, its structures remain unchanged. Let us reorganize the high command to the demands of our current situation. We get so much more motorized, don't we? That we're totally using right now to the best of our abilities. <laughs> At least we're positive here. And actually, since you're here, anyways. We need more army XP. We don't have enough support equipment. We definitely don't. We have enough guns, barely. Getting engineers is going to be super, super important for us. Now get some more extraction. Even though it doesn't really help us that much. We get more aluminum, maybe. 
and steel, but that's pretty much it. But we'll need it eventually. Oh, yes, Basha mobilization. Modernizer guns, Alpini, um, artillery effort. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize this stuff. The Palazzo Mezzonotta. In Milan, the Palazzo Menotta was unveiled today. The Palazzo Mezzonotta was to be the replacement for the old stock exchange of the Republic. Designed with a tasteful mixture of neoclassical and modern agriculture. Agriculture? Architecture. The black money now dis dissipating. The Palazzo Mezzonotta has already been considered the principal stock exchange in Italy. Money is good. I wonder if that was good ahead. Armor. Artillery. That's not bad. I like that a lot, actually. It's not too bad. Planning schools? Oh, look at that. You get way more organization and planning. I like that a lot, actually. Probably with planning schools. All NCOs must be offered some degree of formal officer training and not to, uh, to rely on experience alone. To accomplish this, we should establish several new officer academy academics or academies oriented at providing short additional training courses to the NCOs. This, we figure, will greatly improve the ability of individual units to properly interpret and execute, execute, execute orders. So now we got to choose general elections, which I'm sure I'm going to disappoint some people, and there's a reason why I'm saving for this. Um, kind of already idea which way I want to go, but today the Italian people chose a new parliament. The election is tightly fought and very likely will decide the course of Italy for the near future. With four predicted outcomes. Firstly, the Liberal Democratic Coalition under Prime, Prime Minister Bonomi can continue, or a Liberal Coalition led by the anti-autocratic and center-left Liberal Liberal Italiano party could, could ride to victory. Alternatively, the Conservative Coalition led by Popular Italiano could be victorious, but few can afford to forget the surprisingly popular Associazione Nazionalista Italiana. Associazione. To whom do the people choose? Honestly, like, I kind of want to go the A and I. I want to see what's going to happen, just because with this. Like, A and I, Purge Red Menace. Uh, we might actually end up going to war with Austria because of this, though. So, Unitary Republic. Council non aggression back with the Austrians. They get outraged. Attack the Austrians. Corporate Alliance, Corporate Militarism, Purge Military. This is really difficult to do. Oh, the Italian Liberation would be kind of cool to do, though. Yeah. Yeah, it seems really difficult. Um, the Republic survives. So if we stay the way we currently are, it's not bad either. Why do we have to wait so long to help our economy out, though? That doesn't make any sense. Why do we wait like, literally a year? Oh, that seems okay. And then we have the restoration of the Federation, which is not bad. Authoritarian Democrats, traditional values. Traditional values include so social liberalism. Hmm. Church ties, not bad. You get more population. Um... Not terrible. Yeah, I don't know. This is you know, the most interesting. I don't know. I want to try those, this route, so. Yeah, well, these buffs are okay. You don't get that many buffs. I like this one, though. Italian Liberation Call. So you can get, like, 4% basically more population. And go to War Economy immediately. It's pretty nice, actually. Oh, my finger slipped. My bad. Hey, look at this handsome guy. Everyone... Ah, oh, the Associa... Associa uh, Nationalista Italiana have taken power within the Republic and begun to transform Italy into a legionary state as they promised to destroy all of Italy's enemies and restore Italy to greatness. Pretty normal stuff, man. Pretty normal stuff. Um, so, yeah. Immediately we'll go ahead and do that one or this one. Ooh, that's not bad. More war sport would be very nice. The Order of the Roman Eagle. The Order of the Roman Eagle has been created to reward people who brought merit to Italy. It's considered the highest reward that anyone gets to receive in the service of the country. This new order will help inspire people to do their all for Italy or give their all for Italy. Not bad. Mm, do we need planes? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm glad I looked. Let us honor these men. Um, economic battles. Oh, that's good. Battle for the Lyra. I kind of want to get more war sport just in case, so. Italian militarism. Our nation could be attacked at any moment. All true sons of Italy must always be vigilant, ready to defend their nation at a moment's notice. We should do whatever we can to remind the people of their duty. Um, I do want to get more weekly stability. You guys good? You just hanging out? Dutch elections? This is the perfect time to go to war with Austria, honestly. Literally the perfect time. With all the mess that they're doing with over there. We're gonna need that in the future. Let's be real here. We definitely gonna need that. Land doctrine would be nice too. Yeah, militarism. Italians? Not Italians. We're Italians. The Austrians might try to naval invade us, though. Unitary Republic. Do I can't get down here fast enough? But, oh! Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, the new Unitary Republic. We lose stability, we get more daily political power, though. And remove Austrian influence. Yeah. It's not bad. 
Bird Dread Menace, Economic Battles. Um, yeah, let's go on first. Four Economic Battles. Our nation lies in ruin, not for the failure of any nationalistically minded Italian, but for the actions of so many buffoons the world over. We must never again be vulnerable to foreign incompetence. Each of the four most major issues facing our nation should be fought and defeated in turn. What do we want to choose here? Not bad. Even more soft attack. But this is really good up here for like just overall defense and reliability. Artillery manufacturer's not bad either. I like that one too. You know, let's go let's go let's go kind of generico. We can do this one. And why not? Well, Austria died. Oh, was New York City already? Wow. Oh, New England didn't form. Look at that. Oh. Here we long. It's weird seeing this uh, civ American Civil War after I'm so used to Kaiser Redux's. Frank Miriam was the governor of California, I thought. Did you get a new portrait, man? All American worker, huh? The Kingfish. Oh, so handsome. And then Mr. Balding. <laughs> He's a Prince of Terror. Okay, then. And do we have uh, Mac Daddy? Cool. And the full economic battles. Followed up with the Purge Red Menace. Democracy is a sham, and its institutions are incapable of withstanding socialist infiltration. All civil servants must be comprehensively evaluated, and if any association with a socialist organization of any kind can be found, they must be immediately removed from the post. Nice. Alright, so what do we have some spare right now? Support equipment, guns, artillery. We're going to need a lot of artillery later on, but... Get those engineers. We gotta have them. And since we're here anyways, we have no manpower now, but whatever. Get some arty. It's fine. It's fine. These guys will become uh, outdated. There you go. Nice. Oh, oh, good. So now we're out of support equipment again. God dang it. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. We're gonna run out of guns eventually too, so... Uh, Construction-wise, we're doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. Any other ships? Not yet. These guys should all be done, pretty much, so. Um, as much as I want to get rid of the fuel, I think we should keep it until we're done. Op Opera Nacional Balilia. The Opera Nacional Balilia was recently created by order from the Il Duce, taking its name from the nicknames of the Italian boy which started a revolt against Habsburg forces during the War of Austrian Succession. <clears throat> The organization is similar to the scouting group for children. The organization has two similar structures, one for boys and one for girls, both, both being divided into three groups for, for different age brackets. <clears throat> the organization is to help prepare the f future youth to the roles that they will have within society, as well as make sure that they are loyal Italians. Book and rifle, perfect Italian. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> ah, economic battles. Can't wait for it. What are we going to read? Oh, 39% is pretty good, though. Get more political power that way. Eh, one a day is pretty good, too. Feeling a little bit better about our divisions right now. The creation of the OVRA. In order to protect the Republic and all Italians from threats, the Organizzazione per la Vigilazione e la Repressione del Antinationalismo, Organization for Vigilance and Repression of Antinationalism, or the OVRA for short, has been created. The OVRA will function as a secret police for the Republic and make sure that all those within the Republic that dare betray the Italian state will be severely punished. Everything within the state, nothing outside the state, nothing against the state. More stability, more daily political power, less damage to garrisons, and more stability. What's not to love? Ah, that feels so good. Um, national populism. Eh, we'll, we can do that one later. Attack the Austrians. We're going to be fully independent. We can get rid of the Austrian influence thing, and we'll go straight to war with them. Oh, Hungry, you are looking awkward and weird. The Battle for the Lira. The first of four economic battles designed to fix the economy, the Battle for the Lira will stabilize the currency of the Republic. As all battles are, it may be a struggle, but by, de by stabilizing the currency of the Republic, we will be able to fulfill our Italian destiny. Viva Italia. This is disgusting. Why did they release Transylvania and not give Galicia this? Oh my goodness. Why? They didn't give that to them? They didn't give this to like Serbia? Oh, well, I guess Serbia's not with them, but still. Or Transylvania? Why? It's going to be a really tough war to fight, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a really bad war. If I have to, I will do some funky stuff off-screen to make sure we can actually sort of do okay. Which, I apologize, but, like, still. 
Like, I'm just here to hold. I just want to hold the line. That's all I want to do. Anything else? No? Cool. It's got slightly better fighters that we're not even making yet, but whatever. <clears throat> Create the Unitary Republic. The Republic granted too much autonomy to its member states. Relics of the vestiges of Austrian influence and the Federation. The town has come to abolish their rights and place all power within the central government's hands, even though this might very well mean a fight with those whose autonomy we strip away. Oh, wow. Oh, they federalize, huh? Oh, crap. That's not... Oh, shnikes. Okay, yeah, we're going to do some funky stuff here. Holy crap. Yeah, I was not planning on this. Oh. Opera Nacionale do, do Polovro. Uh, the National Recreation Club has been created by a decree from Il Duce. The OND supports a number of recreational activities for people to help boost tourism, as well as ensure the loyalty of citizens to the Italian state. Italian culture from opera, plays, and music to book clubs and vacations through the countryside are sponsored by the OND. It's clearly proven to be highly popular throughout the Republic. Avanti Italia. Nice. The Corporate State. By the Creevel Duce himself, the National Council of Corporations has been created. The council is to be organized along corporate lines with ten different sectors, with ministers representing the various sectors of the economy. And the official decree is described as a National Council of Corporations as to the Italian economy, where the staff is in the armed forces, the thinking brain which prepares and coordinates. Avanti Italia. Yeah, we're going straight here. The Battle for the Lamb. The second economic battle, the Battle for the Lamb, will bring a transformation to the land itself. Swamps and marshes will be drained, farmland will be irrigated, and the people will be encouraged to move to the countryside in order to help our agriculture thrive. Viva Italia! Yeah, that's not going to be good for us, is it? Um, we definitely got to go here, but we got to beat... There's no way we can beat the Federation. Okay, so I'll, I'll be honest here. We're going to do some really funky stuff here to like just beat up these guys. <sighs> Why? Why? Why did you have to unite into the <laughs> Federation? Why? You normally don't do this, but why? Ah. Corporate alliance? Um, centralized power is okay. Military factors will be good to get. Yeah. We'll go with corporate alliance. The natural human urge to profit and succeed is, no by, is by no means bad, but it must be harnessed to serve the interests of the people in the nation. We should approach businesses, large and small, which have shown themselves to be patriotic and begin to integrate them into the apparatus of the state. Green or blue? The official colors of the Italian football team have been blue, descended from the colors of the Kingdom of Italy. Now that we're in power, we have the ability to finally change the colors away from green to blue. Or blue to green, to better reflect the colors of Italy instead of the House of Savoy. However, this would likely set a number of fans who like the color blue. Keep the colors. Switch colors. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Yeah, I apologize again. I just don't want it. <sighs> Why? Did we get, get this one done? Yeah, I mean, we got it done, but we lost 12 planes in the process, which kind of sucks, I'll be honest, but whatever. 58? No, that's not bad. This gives more political power, so. Hmm. Battle for Grain. Well, the success of the Battle for the Land comes the Battle for Grain. The new farmlands will be made to support the growing population of Italy and her armies. An army marches on its stomach, and after all, an Italian army will be marching to war. Viva Italia. Yeah, they're just going to have to attack. Oh, and there's no... Oh, that's not going to be good, because there's no uh, impassable terrain here. Oh, that's going to suck so hard. Yeah, I don't know. We're not going to be able to win here, are we? The one time I try to do it like this, we get kind of screwed over. We need, get, we need those military factories too, so. Yeah. Unitary Republic. The law has been passed swiftly in the capital, rescinding the rights and autonomy enjoyed by Lombardy and Venetia, or, indeed, any state that is part of the Republic. The NI party that is, is that this is for the good of the country, an explanation which also applies to the suspension of future elections. Italy cannot afford to weaken itself to greed and outside loyalties. Not now, perhaps not ever. The news had not gone over well in Venetia, however, where the state legislators have expressed fury as what they see as a power grab by the central government. Already people are taking to the streets, and we may expect more formal action to be taken in the days to come. Let's hope this amounts to nothing. That's not going to be good, is it? Nope. Yeah, we're probably going to get more defense here. Organization Splexum, which is really good too. Rides in Venice, of course. Opposition to the Unitary Republic has grown throughout Italy, which much of it concentrated in the city of Venice. Their Partito Repubblicano of Veneto leader, Giuseppe Olpi, has given fiery speeches denouncing the ANI and calling on loyal Venetians to rise up and fight against tyranny. Uh, riots have broken out throughout the city, and uh, violence concentrated against the central government and officers and troops. Officials fear it is just a matter of days before the state legislature takes a vote on whether or not to allow the uh, withdrawal from the Republic. As if we would allow such a thing. Oh, boy.
the Venetian Revolt has predicted the vote in Venice, with the controlling Partito Republicano Veneto voting unanimously in favor, as they did the declaration of opposition to the Unitary Republic. Until and if state rights are restored, they will see the Republic of Venice separated from the Legionnaire Italy. Last minute talks are being held, but at the moment, all government troops are being ordered out of Venetia, and militia forces are quickly being assembled, most likely with aid and resistance by the Austrians. Oh well, things happen. Oh! Hello. Alright, so let's put you into two. We go to war them immediately. We need to go to war them immediately. Venetian admirals join the revolt. The Venetian admirals Alberto del Zara and Giuseppe Fiora, Fiora Vanzo has decided to join the revolt against their authority as they declared government as tyrannical. Unfortunately, they managed to take the Italian fleet with them. They should pay for the treachery. That sucks. Can we go? Come on, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. War with Venice. The Venetian rebellion grows even worse in armed forces. Uh, our militias are forcing out loyal and patriotic uh, Italians. This cannot stand. We must move quickly if we do not demonstrate within a matter of months that we have the situation under control. We run the risk of interventions by the Austrians or far worse, the Socialist Republic of Italy feeling bold enough to attack without drawing international fire or ire. Time to put these Venetians in their place. Are you guys actually attacking your women? Yeah. Nice. Battle for the births. The final of the economic battles is the battle for the births. This is a program designed to help couples have more children. The policies include paid maternal and paternal leave for families and tax benefits and loans for having children. While well, at the same time, the government will only hire men and women who are married. Through such a policy, the future of gen the future generations of Italy shall be created and secured. Viva Italia. Cool. Here's the super good factory zone. Venetian Navy captured. With the capture of Venice, the rebel Venetian Navy has nowhere to turn. Admirals de Zara and Fiora Z Vanzo have been arrested and their ships turned back over to Italian control. So much for the revolt. Let Karina Masona Negro Negrona fly. With the Republic now at war, Karina M.N. has asked to fly for the Republic's Air Force. It's highly unusual that a lady would make such a request, and a number of ministers believe that she should be refused. However, as a personal friend, the great statesman Italo Balbo believes that a compromise could be reached where she can lead a force of female aviators to not fly non combat missions. This, will, this would allow more men to actually fly. Let her set up a school. I like that idea. I, that's a very good idea. Yeah, that's actually pretty easy to beat Venice. Or not, yeah, Benito. Um, I'm gonna wait. We might want to get a logistics wizard. Would be good. Yeah, defensive though. Well, it's just best to wait. Yeah. War propaganda. Yeah, we'll do that one. Why not? Hey, we won. Look at that. Not bad. The Venetians have risen up against the Italian government. We must prove that we're able to deal with them quickly. Lest our neighbors grow confident that we are weak enough for them to step in and interview when selected. World board of does not control Venetia. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. Corporate alliance? No issues. A letter of congratulations to the most esteemed Duce Italo Balbo. In the name of the Kingdom of Romania, we congratulate you on your successful assertion of control in your nation. While your Republican sympathies are well known, this should not be prevent positive relations between, between the two nations. Owing to <coughs> the shared interest in continuing the Austrian Goliath and her shared ideological underpinnings, we hereby invite you and your cabinet on a state visit to Romania in order to discuss matters of state beneficial to our two nations and further nurture relations between our two great peoples. Signed, His Majesty the King of uh, Romania, Carol II, President of the Council of Ministers, Cornelio Zella Condrio, Codrano, Minister of Foreign Affairs in Ion uh, Mota, Minister of Internal Affairs, Alexandru Cantacuzuno. We are united in fate. Cool. Corporate militarism. Our corporate allies should be put uh, to work building a new series of state armory factories. Oh, the good old Chad. Oh, Moscow Court. Cool. But at least we got our boys back. Yeah, most of our boys. Do that too. Yeah, I'm glad we actually fixed up our guys, because they did, they did pretty okay. Maybe not great, but they did pretty darn okay. Uh, do we attack the Austrians? I kind of want to wait to see what happens. Uh, market protections would not be bad. Oh, it's going to be so bad. I want to wait, maybe. It depends on what these guys do. Romania wants to definitely attack. Oh, Transylvania was annexed by them, yeah. If the, if the Belgrade Pact does attack Austria, then we have a chance. We definitely have a chance. Social liberals, national populists. We know those millies, though. By God, we need those millies. 
Definitely. All right. Corporate militarism. Loyal military is not bad. Purge opposition. Italy is reborn. I'd love to do that, but... Loyal military. Political challenges from those within the armed forces have toppled countless regimes. To ensure loyalty, we should offer low-level positions in a civil, civilian administration to generals and offer other political favors. Um, honestly, we're not doing too bad. We need a spot of chromium, but that's pretty much it. What do we want to do here? We did get quite a bit of political power. 1.68 is pretty darn nice. I'd love to go to war economy, though, but we're just not ready to go to war with the Italians. Or, I keep saying Italians, but Austrians. Artillery attacking nice would be nice. Okay, organization recovery would be really good too. I don't want to get any more max entrenchment. That could be really good, but recovery rate, organization. Garibaldi. We'll go with that guy for now. Corporate alliance is pretty good too. Keep building, 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 building. Um, now since their ambitions. We can do this once, why not? L3 is 38. Happy 38, everybody. Cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, loyal military would be good to get, but... Mm. Really, we, we gotta sort of wait for things to fall apart before we can really attack these guys. I just hope that the, these guys do really well up here. Gee, the government's looking pretty good, though. Uh, America's looking pretty divided. Oh, the Reds are coming back. They're still doing okay, though. Um, long... Not much has really moved on through here, though. Yeah. Honestly. Are we still mobilizing? Oh, that's so sad. Uh, extensive conscription, yes. Yeah, Muzzle. Just get it. Get, get started. That's fine. Just get started. Loyal military. It is 38. Let's grab some list two. And then purge opposition. I think next up we should probably go ahead and do the planning school, so. I think that will be good to do. And this one's okay. Uh, finish reforms. Oh, bonus. One bonus for land auction. That's it. It's not enough, man. What are you waiting for? More support equipment. Sucks. We'll get it. That's not, I'm not too worried about that, though. Yeah. I, I, I want to attack Austria. I really do. <sighs> nice. Getting that extra defense, though, is really nice. Yeah, extra defense and organization is going to be super nice. <coughs> Like a vampire of legend, the Danubian Federation has slowly drained the life from us. If we are to ever truly reassert ourselves inter internally and internationally, the Austrians must be vanquished. God dang. I just... We might be able to hold. Maybe. We just made another Division 2. Off here, it would be really difficult. If we can move quickly into the mountains, especially if they have a few forts here, like take these two, maybe even take a portion of Sue to roll, and just stay in the mountains, we could probably do okay, especially with these types of divisions. We have no other support companies, which kind of sucks, honestly. Um, since we're here, you guys. I put engineers on you guys already. Uh, can you throw more, more mountaineers? We got enough guns for that, so that's fine. We're going to need a lot of guns, so. You guys will be fine. Keep training. Lower military will be good. More army XP is always good, so. Yeah. What's Germany up to, actually? M Modern Art of War. Damocles Project. You guys are doing military exercises. Encourage free thought. Equipment modern. Oh, you have like no national spirits. Holy crap. That's very weird. You're fighting quite a few guys, but you should be able to handle it. Uh, Roman Qing government do be looking kind of nice. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to get. Linguist? Nice. Officer autonomy? Nice. I don't know. The Reds seem to be doing as well as they probably could be. Planning schools. Yeah, we want that extra organization that we're definitely going to need. Um, commander initiative is okay. It's not really that really needed right now. New economy. Electronics would be good and smart to do. Purge opposition. Kind of want to purge the opposition. Some of us got a fool's half seen. I've been loath to. Uh, oh, my bad. Loath to abandon their important democratic ideals since they cannot be easily persuaded to adopt a national outlook. They should be removed from the civil service and from uh, corporate leadership. Yeah. Everyone wants to get that one too. Might as well. Oh, uh, oh, that's what. The, oh, why? Why do they split these guys up like this? That makes literally no sense. Go home. Do that. She and then throw you guys together. Oh, we lost some guys. Why? It's fine. It's fine. 
And you guys will be like, bye. This guy. He does okay. He does okay. Not great, but he does okay. Oh, Cannon intervenes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So are they... Ah, they're fighting the Reds now, too. They're fighting everybody. Except for the Mac. Sucks to be them. Yeah, agency upgrade times. Um, Honestly, not bad. After, actually, after that one, I want to make it this one. Do it with ice patch. We just need more millies, don't we? We do. So that's not too bad. I think we'll begin the next episode actually attacking the these guys. Because the more time we give them, the stronger they get, technically. But, oh well. It, it, they're already going to just beat the crap out of us, probably. You know, signal companies? Uh, we can try signal companies, maybe. Yeah, we can try it. Why not? We do have 19 divisions, which is not great. But whatever. I'm going to save our political power because we might just need that, too. Uh, 38... Fuel would be nice. Radar might be useful, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. Oh, let's go. Why not? All right. So then we'll purge opposition, and we'll conclude this with centralized power. Why not? Venetian descent has been crushed, and now power lies fully within the central government. And we'll remove the new unitary republic national spirit, which is. Oh, hurts us. But I think we'll end it there for today, just because I want to give myself a little bit of time to practice, or just see what's going to be like. Trying to uh, fight the, uh, well, the Austrians, the Danubian Federation. So we'll probably start off at war with them. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will do our absolute best to not die to the Danubian Federation. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.